Hi everyone and welcome to the ProBuilder 2.0 VizGroups tutorial. So we'll be taking a brief look at how the VizGroups panel works and what it's really for here. Uh, definitely get into it more in some of the further tutorials. But just for now we have the scene that we've been building up throughout these early tutorials and I've added a couple things to it, namely this big collision area on the outside, a couple triggers on the inside, we have no draw in various areas, and there's also some world brushes or, or world geometry in here, which we can't see as different from detail, but we'll get to that in a second. So let's say we built up this area and we have all the collision and the triggers and so forth. But obviously when I'm working on this, having these collision areas in the way and always visible is really uh, pretty annoying. We don't want it there at all times, right? So the fix for this is the uh, Viz Group panel. First of all, we have the collision uh, toggle here. If I turn that off, they'll simply disappear, and I can bring them back on just like that. Same with the triggers. If I'm working on my level and I need to add some detail and such in here, these are probably going to get in the way and be uh, a bit of an annoyance, so I can turn those off as well. And then when I'm ready to build my game or I need to edit them, I can turn that back on. So very handy to be able to turn these on and off quickly, these specialty items. The no draw is basically the same. You've already seen this if you watched the uh, optimizing with no draw tutorial. It just turns those faces, oops, only those faces off that have no draw. So and this one is different. It's not the same as the rest of the viz group options where they turn off entire objects because of their type. This is simply hiding a face on the object. So uh, in this particular level we don't have a lot of use for no draw over the top. Normally you'd have maybe walls and ceilings and such that you need to be able to see through. You'd use no draw. Uh, not so much for seeing through but for the uh, optimization benefits and then a side effect is that when you turn them off you can then uh, see through very easily. So anyway there's that and at the very top we have detail and world and this is where we get more into explaining the entity types basically every pro builder object has a specific entity type and they all by default start off as a detail uh, and this is something that will be familiar to hammer users of course since a lot of the um, inspiration for pro builder has come from hammer so detail is just an average piece of geometry in ProBuilder. Nothing special about it. It's going to be static for light mapping. In fact, we can see if we look up here. It's light map static, batching static, and occlude static. However, the important thing is it is not occluder static. Oops, I'm sorry. I just realized you guys can't see that off the edge of the recording very well. Uh, you'll have to... Here, we'll bring this over here. Okay. <laughs> so now, with this selected, we can see that it is light map static, batching static, and occlude static. So everything uh, basically that uh, the important ones except for occluder. And this means that this object will be occluded when you're using the occlusion system. So if there is, let's say I'm looking from over here, and that's in the way, and I've made this block in the way right here, I've made that to be an occluder, it's going to block and tell the engine not to render this piece since it's uh, being occluded. So all objects, all ProBuilder objects are automatic occludees. That means they will be occluded, but they will not occlude other items. And the reason for this is generally when you're building, you'll end up with a lot of different shaped items like this. And you don't really want all of these to be attempting to occlude each other because you'll end up actually uh, slowing down the system more than you're helping it. And this is really something we'll get more into in the uh, occlusion optimization tutorial, so we won't go too uh, in-depth on that. But basically, that's a detail. They won't occlude other things, but they will be occluded. And then we have world. And world geometry is the entity type that will occlude anything else. So it will be occluded itself, of course, but it will also occlude other things. So this you'll use for any large object that, uh, for example, this actually. A lot of times, uh, I mean, this level doesn't really have any area that's good for occlusion. Perhaps should have built something a little differently. But this one here, 
we can say would very likely if players were running around perhaps this was a multiplayer map anyone on this side probably can't see uh, things on the other side there it's going to be blocking a fairly significant amount of geometry so this is an item we might turn into world geometry you can do that by hitting the O button and it becomes world you can't see any difference but it is now I've also set various other items in here to be world so we can see how this works so if I toggle off world you'll see they simply disappear so this is very handy for when you're building up items and you want to just hide all the large sections of your uh, your game world or the opposite turn off detail and you'll hide all the detail objects and this actually is probably the most handy of these in that um, you'll end up with fairly uh, complex and as it sound detailed uh, geometry throughout your level or world as you're building it a lot of times you'll simply want to turn off that detail and see just the bare basic uh, fundamental structure so turn off detail and there you have it uh, again in this case I apologize it's not the best example these are just uh, random assortments of uh, geometry that's set between detail and world um, but again we'll have some more complex uh, tutorials on this coming up in the future so detail and world another handy part of this is you can turn off all of these and now you've effectively hidden all of the pro builder geometry in the scene which for whatever reason uh, could sometimes be handy if you need to just do that instantly and we can turn it all back on with a few clicks of a few buttons there so that's the vis groups panel uh, lots of uses for that probably uh, mainly the detail and collision trigger and no draw so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the future tutorials thanks